He was put before the cameras and reporters in this highly orchestrated event today in Pyongyang. Kenneth Bay said he's a criminal and that North Korea doesn't abuse rights. He also asked Washington to cooperate with his captors to get him out of prison. But let's face it here, given North Korea's history of forced confessions, Bay likely was saying all of this because this is what the North Korean officials wanted to hear. Now more from our Paula Hancocks. Escorted in and out of the room by military officials, Kenneth Bay said that he wanted to be freed as soon as possible so that he could go home. Now, the U.S. missionary has been held in North Korea since November 2012, and speaking to reporters in Pyongyang on Monday, he called on the U.S. government once again to try its best to secure his release. He once again issued an apology to North Korea and said that he had broken North Korean laws. I would like to plead with the U.S. government, press, and my family to stop worsening my situation by making vile rumors against North Korea and releasing materials related to me, which are not based on the facts. State-run media KCNA says that Bay had mentioned the U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, uh, saying that he uh, recently had said that Bay was being held for no reason. Bay said he had committed a crime, and the regime has uh, claimed that Bay has carried out hostile acts against the government. Now, Bay said he also had seen allegations that North Korea was a human rights violator and wanted to clarify that he had had humanitarian support from the regime because he had been allowed to get in contact with his family. Now, within this press conference, Bay said that he was the one who wanted to speak, but it has to be noted that recent prisoners who have been released from North Korea have said that they made statements and apologies under duress. It's not exactly clear why North Korea wanted Bay to make these statements today of all days. Uh, there are some assumptions among some experts that Pyongyang may actually want to restart talks with the United States. But no matter what the reason for today's press conference, it certainly put Bay back in the headlines. The longest known U.S. detainee in North Korea in recent years. Paula Hancock's CNN Seoul. And you might recall uh, Dennis